Hello, and welcome to Convince Catholicism, a place for all things Catholic. Today I have a tutorial video. This was one of the very first books that I ever reviewed. This is The Little Office of Baltimore. If you haven't seen this video, uh, the review of it, you should go check that out. I think it's like my second or third video. But uh, anyway, even after I reviewed that book, or this book, a lot of people seemed to be confused about how to use it. And I totally understand that. There seems to be some parts of the book that you never use, that you have to use all the time. Uh, this is a great way of getting into the traditional office or the divine office of the Roman Catholic Church without having to get into the Latin or having to flip excessively like with the multi-volume Roman breviary or the one-volume Anglican breviary that, you know, takes up a lot of time and space. So this is kind of like a greatest hits of the pre-Vatican II divine office, all in English, these and thous. But I want to show you each ver uh, each section of the office, and, <clears throat> and then we can take a look and uh, learn how to do it together, okay? So first and foremost... If you see the table of contents here, you see that there's eight offices, Matins, Lauds, Prime, Ter, Sext, Known, Vespers, Compline. Very often, you'll see Matins and Lauds pray together, or one or the other as a morning office. Prime, Ter, Sext, Known, Prime being six or seven o'clock in the morning, Terce being nine o'clock in the morning, Sext, 12 in the, uh, at noon, Known, 3 o'clock, Vespers, Evening, Compline, Night. Okay. And then you see the propers of seasons. Uh, and it goes to the church here. Now, here's the thing. If you are a pre-Vatican II practicing Catholic, i.e. you go to the Novus Ordo, you're going to see some seasons here that don't make sense to you. Okay. Uh, namely, Septuagesima as well as post Pentecost. Okay, so there's, as well as kind of post Epiphany. Uh, these two here have been replaced in the Second Vatican Council as ordinary time. Okay, so I'll, and I'll show you what exactly to do with those things. So, and you'll notice that there's three ribbons. Really to pray the office properly, you'll need these two ribbons here, the, the black and the red one. The gold one is for supplemental stuff, okay? So let's go through each uh, office one by one, and it will be, you know, quick. So matins. <clears throat> so far on this page, we see things that will go on every single time, no matter what day uh, of the year it is. The inviatory, for example, right? So, O Lord, open thou our my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise, so on and so forth. The, invi the inviatory, or the invitatory, excuse me, this Psalm 94 will always be done. And you'll notice it's the same invitatory hymn or psalm as the modern Liturgy of the Hours. Then you'll see a hymn. Then notice it says proper psalm. Here is said the psalm proper to the season or feast, preceded and followed by the corresponding antiphon. After the second antiphon, conclude with, and then this is where you will get that, right? So let's go to the red ribbon. It's Easter right now, okay? So <clears throat> now we can see here the antiphon, thou shalt fill me with joy with thy continence, alleluia. Then we see the psalm. And then sometimes there might be one or two psalms, Okay, we'll put the ribbon there because we've completed our psalm now. Go back. Notice it says lesson. Here is the lesson appointed for the season or feast, which sees its proper section. After the lesson, lauds may be may be begun immediately. Okay, so uh, you will do the lesson. Here it is. And then uh, notice it says... Lauds may be begun immediately. If Lauds does not follow, Matin concludes below. And then, boom, here we go. So let's say you were doing just Matins, the Collect. Well, where's the Collect of the day? 
this is where you might have to do a little bit of page turning, right? So it'll be during Vespers that you'll see the collect. So here is the collect. So right now it's still within the octave of the first Sunday of Easter, meaning there it's still the Easter season. It's within the 50 days of Easter, but only one Sunday has happened and that's Easter Sunday. So that means you have to do this collect. If it was two Sundays, that one there, three Sundays, four Sundays, five Sundays, and then six Sundays, right? And then there would be the Ascension uh, somewhere during that time, right? So uh, Ascension Thursday, 40 uh, days after uh, Easter. And then you would see Pentecost, right? That is... 50 days after Easter, and then you'll see uh, Trinity Sunday. That's the Sunday after Pentecost, but then we get to, and we'll skip Corpus Christi for the moment. Then we see post-Pentecost. This is a season that really no longer is mainstream in the church, and then that is really honestly the, the Sundays that succeed uh trinity sunday okay and then you can see that there are several uh collects but notice that the third sunday after pentecost is not listed why because trinity sunday is the sundays after pentecost right so and then it goes on and on to all the way to like the 26th or something like that um or uh or the 23rd rather uh, resumed third Sunday after Epiphany, da, 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 da. So, and that's when the priest would wear green. Okay, so let's continue to Lauds. <clears throat> God, come unto my help, or come unto my help, O God, O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, so on and so forth. Then, 50, Psalm 50 and Psalm 66 always happen, as does the Benedicte as does the Psalms of Praise, 148 through 150, and then you get the Collect of the Day. Okay, uh, so that is uh, Matins and Lauds together, which is what most people would do. But the instructions would pretty much stay the same if you did them separately, or only one of them. Now, Prime, you do this every day, Follow, then follow the Psalms, which are said under one antiphon for Sundays. Here we see them here. Then we see the Creed of Athanasius, which is quite long. And then we see a short chapters. Okay. Uh, these, as you can see, pretty much stay the same uh, throughout the year un unless if there is some sort of explicit instruction. And you can see that it's bracketed off. Notice something here. These prayers within the brackets are said only on weekdays. So if it's a Sunday, you skip these. And then you go to the uh, Confitior. And then tears very much the same types of instructions. The only variance that you'll see is the antiphons, okay? So let's go to Vespers, because that is changing. So, Vespers. We see Psalms for Sundays and Feasts. These stay the same. Okay, Psalms for weekdays. Weekday Psalms for the seasons are found in section two, during the time of liturgical green, the time after Epiphany, and after Pentecost, use one of the two sets below as appropriate. So these Psalms are used during the liturgical green time, as you, as the instructions said already. However, if it's Easter, right? Notice what it says. For the Sundays of Easter time, 
use the standard Sunday Psalms on page 73, then resume with the little chapter, antiphon, or hymn, and collect as given below. For the weekdays in Eastertide, use the following Psalms. So you can see here that the, the green seasons, or ordinary time, match uh, the Psalms that are prescribed uh, in the ordinary, right? So you can't really screw that up, honestly. That is uh, very nice that they provide that. Uh, but then what does change is the little chapter. Uh, so look, after the psalm is said, the little chapter, generally uh, the first sentence and epistle of the day, da -da 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 -da, but from the third Sunday after Epiphany till Septuagesima and the third Sunday. So notice what it's saying is basically during the green time, this is what's said. But during other seasons, uh, it's usually the th uh, the first sentence of the epistle of the day. So let's see, page six, 65 to 780. 665. Oh, wait a minute. That's in reference to, I'm sorry, another book. But uh, you can see how confusing this book can be. But um, honestly, if you're trying to simplify your, or or at least abbreviate your prayer life to be sure to pray eight times a day, this is still a great option. Uh, now, Compline stays the same always. Always stays the same. There's not going to be really, really any uh, variation except afterward you do an antiphon of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and those will be based off of what the season is, and you can see them here. So... Uh, it's, it's rather, uh, sim Compline is rather simple. If you feel confused by this, I would recommend, first of all, going back in this video and seeing what the red text says, reading that carefully, or in your own copy, taking a look at what that is, or doing two offices a day, maybe just matins, not matins and lauds, but just matins, to get used to the variation, and vespers, or matins and compline. So either matins and vespers, or matin and compline. Um, lauds, you're not going to see much variation, but with matins, uh, lauds, you're not going to see very much variation, but with matins, you are. And so maybe you want to have one constant and one varying and then that way you kind of get used to the cycle of it prime tear sext and known are very much in in today's world at least supplements the crux of it would be matin slash lauds vespers and compline so uh there you go and of course you can always leave questions down in the comments thank you very much be sure to like comment and subscribe Take care and God bless.